Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for March 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Aries, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Oracle deck. Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. Number seven of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Chariot. This can represent a Cancer, Cancer Sun or Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is triumph and success. It's control over the forces of nature as well as triumph over ill health, as well as money difficulties, as well as your lower animal passions. It's a clear sense of purpose. This can indicate travel, and it would be in comfort. It's mental and physical powers that lead to fulfillment. It's putting commitment to the test. This is overcoming problems and obstacles and the clearing of the path to victory and your desires, and it's swift action in reaching your goals, a positive and quick result on the way. It's mastery over opposing forces. It's going with the flow and using firm resolve and staying on this course that you have set for yourself. It can also mean that assistance is on the way and it's creating a firm foundation on which to pursue your desires with a clear sense of purpose. This is a soul test in advancements. It's movement fueled by planning and willpower. It's waiting for conditions to be just perfect. But when are they ever? It's being ready to move forward, and it's that little extra push hard that you can fix any trouble that arises. It's commencement and challenge and victory. It's being purposeful and brave and driven, disciplined, ambitious, victorious. It's balancing carnal and spiritual forces. You could be pursuing or completing a goal, overcoming obstacles, accelerating efforts, and staying on track. Your second card, and it's the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Ace of Pentacles, Aries. This is Earth energy, the root of all Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a gateway card. This is a gift from the universe. New money, new success, a healthy beginning with prosperity, it's new opportunities. It's the beginning of gain and pleasure and stability and potential. This is a seed to be nurtured, and you can find inspiration and joy in nature. It's an opportunity for real growth, the beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This can be a new job opportunity, or even a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building that foundation for the future. This could be a new beginning in a financial situation, a new contract. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just does not land in your lap. The chariot with the Ace of Pentacles is representing travel. It's having your travel documents ready. It can be promotion. It's an offer that maybe it's not what you expected. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of. The Knight of Pentacles, Aries, more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now this Knight of Pentacles, they, are, they do their duty. They can carefully consider where the value is, and they keep their actions simple, and they're on a mission, and they're defenders. This can be a communication or the coming or going of a matter. They could be bringing good news about money. It's also being poised on the edge of adventure or travel. This is someone that moves with the flow. They're stable and dedicated and responsible and predictable and determined. And they do their job. They're solidly dependable. They're the worker bee, the good soldier or the farmer who works tirelessly in their fields. And they put their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. You may be eager to get back to your regular routine, and you're working towards a goal. You could be offering stability, fulfilling obligations, offering assistance or completing projects, getting or giving money, job or house hunting. 
This is a midway point, and it's taking initiative. The chariot with the Knight of Pentacles is uh, keeping on going because success is on the way. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the resolution. The Two of Pentacles, Aries, a lot of pentacles in your reading. This is Earth Energy, someone's Jupiter in Capricorn. This is the need to be flexible. It's the ability to juggle two situations at one time. You're multitasking. It has to do with changes. You're trying to balance and juggle your resources. Your concentration is required and has to do with balancing your material concerns and your priorities, being incredibly busy. This can be two situations. And it's harmony in the midst of a change. It's good fortune and enjoyment. This could be another message about coming, about money, and better times do lie ahead. You'll just need to adapt to these changes, and you, you are adaptable, and you're dealing with a lot and with ease. It's going with the flow. It's handling the ups and downs of life. It's a shift in life's focus. It's new facts and results come to the foreground, and they present you with a new perspective. The chariot with the two of pentacles is conflicting demands. It's juggling priorities and driving forward despite frustrations. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The number six of the major arcana, the lovers. This can represent a Gemini, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Venus. Now this may have to do with a love relationship or a choice. It can be a soulmate. It's tempta temptation and attraction. It's the fruitfulness of correct thought. That's the angel Raphael, the angel of air and communication, and Mercury rules Gemini. This is the struggle between sacred and profane love. It's the harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life and learning and growing through relationships. There's trials, it's soulmates being met for e meant for each other, it's alignment and balance between physical desire and spiritual needs. Sometimes this is a difficult choice. It represents the power of a mature sexual union, and the angel above them stands for strength and found strength found in their relationship. It's an important and usually long lasting relationship. It's physical and emotional healing. And if you're unattached, this could be a pointing to a future relationship. This can also mean help from a lover or a friend. And if you're single, it's time to let love come into your life. This card carries a blessing. There could be a need to heal a rift or a romantic relationship coming. It's a critical life decision with a love relationship and being at a crossroads. Just remember to act with your heart and do what you love. And everything else will follow naturally. And you will make the right choice. It's cooperation and attraction that requires co cooperation. This could be a choice between two lovers or a business deal. Free will is the objective here. And it's an attraction for something different coming. And you're about to evolve into a higher plane of understanding. You just need to communicate openly and honestly. And that will create harmonious and fulfilling relationships built on trust and respect. The chariot with the lover's card is controlling sexual tension. It's victory in love. It's approaching a relationship commitment. It's also willpower and union. The ace of pentacles with the knight of pentacles is a new job, and it's knowing the right action to take. The ace of pentacles with the two of pentacles is branching out in business. The Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers is a physical attraction. A choice can lead to potential happiness. It's a relationship that will benefit you to ensure a secure future. The Nine of or the Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles is your indecision will be assisted by a benefactor. It could be working in two or more locations. The Knight of Pentacles with the Lovers is dedication to making the right choice. It's an enduring love and devotion. 
Could be one lover has a lot of baggage. The two of pentacles with the lovers is a decision to make about the ups and downs in a relationship. It's choices about a direction to take in a relationship or the choice between two people. It's a need to be flexible with your differences. Here's the advice from the Oracle deck. Trust your guides or ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Card number 46, Judgment from your higher self, Aries. Judgment. Precision, rationality, analysis, and discernment. This isn't a time to act under an imagined sense of urgency. Keep your emotions from running away from you. Turn to your higher self. Engage your power of reason and trust your inclination to step away from the drama and intensity of the moment. Study and analyze all the factors of a situation and allow your higher self to guide you to the right end. Sleep on it a night. Better yet, sleep on it for three nights. Then heed your higher self's message. Leave it to me for now. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.